Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys my Christian Girl Essentials. This is personally the things that I like to use on an everyday basis and things that have helped me grow spiritually. So if you guys want to know what I use, keep on watching. Well, the first thing that I recommend for you guys to have is a Bible, of course. And this is the ESV single column journaling Bible from Crossway. I like their journaling Bibles because... I really like to take notes on them and highlight. I like everything that has to do with colors. So it really has helped me just read my Bible and it just by looking at it, it kind of makes me want to read it because of the colorful things that I have. So I would just say customize it yourself. That's kind of what I did and what grabs my attention to reading my Bible more. So that is one of the essentials that I for sure recommend. Along with reading my Bible, a second thing I recommend is a study Bible. The one that I have is the Jeremiah study Bible. And I really like it because it talks about what it says, what it means, and what it means to you. So it really goes in detail with each chapter and each verse whenever i'm studying my bible and i really don't understand something i could just look at my study bible and it has a lot of references to other verses as well another thing i also recommend is to use the U version bible and it's an app that you could download on your phone i really like it because it also has great resources such as bible plans you could also do plans with friends which i do with my boyfriend and it offers other versions of the bible that you could compare it to so that's a great resource that it has and it's also on the go because i'm sure we all carry our phones with us everywhere another thing i recommend to have is a journal especially when you're studying your bible i really think it's essential for us to take notes so that we could put everything into practice and just memorize and learn everything that we are reading now i have different journals for different things i like to keep my books very organized not put everything in just one of them so the first one that i have is this little book that i got at walmart and i diy it myself and this one i specifically use only for online preachings i even label them so i just put everything that i listen to online I write down everything that grabs my attention from the preachings and I like to use highlighters and colorful pens because all of those things just grab my attention. The journal that I use when I study my Bible is actually a notebook that I bought at Walmart which I also DIY'd and I basically write down here all of my notes whether I'm reading Job or just Psalms or Proverbs. Anything that I read, I like to write down anything that grabs my attention as well as highlighting. Another thing I recommend is to have a prayer journal. I have this journal right here that says Dream Big and I got it at Ross, I believe for $5. And one of the things that I really enjoy about having a prayer journal is that there is no boundaries and no rules. You basically could write down anything that you want. I mean, God will know and he hears our prayers and I really think a prayer journal helps me. The next thing I recommend to starting your day is to have a devotional. This one is the 365 Daily Devotions by Teen Girls for Teen Girls. I really like this one. I haven't really finished it, but I've had it for like a year or so. And it's really good. What I do though is I don't go in order like day by day. What I like to do is pray and then just open it anywhere and many times the page that i open it to has to do with something i am going through so that has really helped me and i just think it's a great way to start your day with god another thing that i recommend is to read christian books i feel like reading really helps you learn and grow spiritually i have a lot of books right here that i've read and i really love them because i've learned so much from them it always directs you back to a verse so it's great also for reading your bible one of the books that i've been reading at the moment is the purpose driven life by rick warren and this is how it looks well this is how mine looks because i don't know what happened to the cover but right now i am on day 14th i really don't read it each day because i have a lot of books to read but i try to read it when i can and it's so inspirational i totally recommend to get this if sometimes you feel like why am i here what is the reason to live and stuff like that because this really explains why god has us here on earth and what god has planned for us individually 
and I don't know it's just a really great book honestly it really inspires me so I love reading books this is one that I really do recommend and I'm gonna link down everything below that I have just in case you guys want to buy it so yeah this is one that I like another thing that I like to do on my free time when I'm not reading books or my bible is to listen to sermons and preachings I really love doing that and what I love the most is that you could listen to them anywhere. Sometimes I put them on my car when I'm going to school or when I'm going to work. And I just listen to it and it just really helps me go with my day. Like it just makes me feel so positive, energetic. And some of the people that I really listen to are like my favorite too, you would say, is Mike Todd. And he's from Transformation Church. I watch his videos on YouTube and one of his favorite preachings or like i think he has like a whole playlist on it is his hashtag couple goals or hashtag relationship goals those are like my favorite videos and i think mainly because i'm in a relationship so it really helped me a lot he has really great points and like always they direct it back to the bible so i really enjoy that the second person that i really enjoy watching is steven furtick from elevation church i'm sure you guys have heard of him and one of the favorite videos that i have seen from him is the one called it had to happen that one is really great i even took notes on it and it's just very inspiring of why things happen to you so if you guys want to check that out i'll link it down below as well the last thing that i like to do is just listen to podcasts online i also have that on my iphone and as well i listen to it when i go to school when i go to work or just when I go on a trip with my boyfriend so it's a really great way to incorporate God on your daily activities some of the people that I listen to is as well Stephen Furtick, Levi Lusco, I love his preachings and I also have his book and Sarah Jakes Robert as well so these are some of my Christian essentials I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll try to link down below um, the things that I mentioned so just in case you guys are interested in getting it but that would be all for today. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.